now. Doctors' offices and pharmacies in North Texas are busy with people trying to stay one step ahead of swine flu. Health departments are urging people to get checked out if they feel sick and go about their business if they do not. First on Fox 4, Sean Rabb begins our team coverage with the latest developments right here in North Texas. Sean. Clarice, there are no new confirmed cases in Dallas County today to add to the three confirmed cases that the health department told us about yesterday. In fact, about half of the cases looked at have shown to be seasonal influenza. That's good news. But the number of probable cases being looked at by the Centers for Disease Control is up, and the word of the week is precaution. While Canyon Creek Elementary in the Richardson School District was being sanitized after a student there took sick with swine flu. Today we have three confirmed and six probable. So that's three new cases that have now been classified as probable. On the probable list, a three-year-old who attended the Graham Cracker Preschool, which is near Canyon Creek and is now closed for cleaning. Two relatives of that child are also probable. The other three cases involve children 4 to 14. We don't know how swine flu is transmitted from person to person, and we don't know the dynamics of how it's being transmitted. It's a new virus. It's a virus that uh, the Centers for Disease Control and other public health entities report that we've not yet seen before. With that, um, all people are susceptible. That's why Dr. Marshall Isaacs, medical director for Dallas Fire Rescue, has recommended all first responders use what are called universal precautions. Every time they encounter a patient uh, in Dallas, they should be utilizing gloves, uh, some type of mask. At Doherty's Pharmacy in North Dallas, the shelves that held masks are bare. It's been a madhouse. I mean, people are coming in, you know, every 30 seconds or so. We take an order for it. People are coming in, you know, thinking we're the only place in town that's going to have them. Like Bob Hamer, who ordered a box of masks. I'm going to be taking a trip next week uh, uh, which, in which I'll be flying twice. And so that's the primary reason for wanting to use it. And the pharmacy's been rated for Tamiflu and Relenza at a little over $100 for each bottle. We ran out of that about 9 o'clock uh, Monday morning and uh, have had little success in restocking. This is a complicated issue given what, what swine flu is and how, what the potential impact is. The big message I think we need to talk about is if you feel like you're sick with the flu, please go and see your doctor. And best precautions, of course, wash your hands with soap and water and wash them frequently. Absent that, use some sort of antibacterial hand cleaner. And if you cough or sneeze, catch it in your sleeve. And, of course, if you feel sick, go see the doctor. In the newsroom, Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News. In Tarrant County, the health department is monitoring several people with flu symptoms, but there are no confirmed cases of swine flu. The only probable case is a student at McLean Middle School in Fort Worth, and there are no reports of any school closures in Tarrant County. Fox was Phil Alvarado live in Fort Worth with more on the health department's role in tracking flu cases. Good evening, Phil. Hi, Clarice. The message from Tarrant County public health officials here is do not panic, but they say you should remain vigilant. Uh, so far, they have that one probable case that you mentioned. They're also uh, examining 20 other flu cases to see if they might be swine flu. Now, the way it works here in Tarrant County is that doctors send suspected cases here to the health department, and then they run it through their own labs. Shelby Scott feels like he's got the flu. Normally, he would ride it out at home until he got better. But concerns over the swine flu brought him to the ER at Harris Hospital in Fort Worth. Now, if doctors determined Scott may have the swine flu, his case would be sent to the Tarrant County Health Department for more lab tests. Health officials uh, briefed Tarrant County commissioners this morning saying, now, if the case turns out negative, well, that's the end of it. If not, then the case is referred to the Center for Disease Control for confirmation. They could come from clinics, uh, private providers, um, and so hospitals. Um, they come to us, and then we do the test. Cook Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth says they also have seen more parents come in concerned about their children who have any kind of flu-like symptoms. Again, uh, the health department here says that uh, if you're sick, certainly stay at home, don't go to work, and go to the doctor to find out what's wrong with you. But if you're not sick, uh, you know, go about your business, as they say, and do not go to the doctor trying to find medication if you're not ill. Reporting live, Phil Alvarado, Fox 4 News.